I don't know what the future may hold, but I know who holds the future. I see in the near future a crisis approaching that unnerves me and causes me to tremble for the safety of my country. Corporations have been enthroned and an era of corruption in high places will follow and the money power of the country will endeavor to prolong its reign by working upon the prejudices of the people until all wealth is aggregated in a few hands and the republic is destroyed. But for you who revere my name, the sun of righteousness will rise with healing in its rays. The time is always right to do what is right. My greatest concern is to be on God's side, for God is always right. If we ever forget that we are one nation under God, then we will be a nation going under. My country is of thee, sweet land of liberty, of the I see. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, and pray and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, and I will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. On each side of the river stood the tree of life, bearing twelve crops of fruit, yielding its fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree are for the healing of the nations. As he died to make men holy, let us die to make men free, while God is marching on. Glory! Glory! Hallelujah! return to the Lord. He has torn us to pieces, but he will heal us. He has injured us, but he will bind up our wounds. I urge then first of all, that petitions, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving be made for all people, for kings and all those in authority, that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. Within the covers of that single book, are all the answers to all the problems that face us today if we'd only read and believe. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. The greatest need in the world today is a transformation of human nature to make us love instead of hate. We need to trust in God and we need to put our faith in Him as a nation. He will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Darkness cannot drive out darkness, only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate, only love can do that. We have to pray with our eyes on God, not on the difficulties. He has shown you what is good, O oh mortal. What does the Lord require of you? To act justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with your God. All our infirmities, whatever they are, are just opportunities for God to display His gracious work in us. America is too great for small dreams. And not! What your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. Will you not revive us again, that your people may rejoice in you? Faithfulness springs forth from the earth, and righteousness looks down from heaven. The Lord will indeed give what is good, and our land will yield its harvest. Thine alabaster cities gleam, undimmed by human tears. May God thy gold refine, till all success be nobleness, and every gain divine. We the people are the rightful masters of both Congress and the courts, not to overthrow the Constitution, but to overthrow the men who pervert the Constitution. It is my conviction that the fundamental trouble with the people of the United States is that they have gone too far away from Almighty God. Heal me, Lord, and I will be healed. Save me and I will be saved. For you are the one I praise. 
So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. We all want progress, but if you're on the wrong road, progress means doing the bow turn and walking back to the right road. In that case, the man who turns back soonest is the most progressive. Faith consists in believing when it is beyond the power of reason to believe. Freedom is the open window through which pours the sunlight of the human spirit and human dignity. Lord, be gracious to us. We long for you. Be our strength every morning, our salvation in time of distress. Though an army besiege me, my heart will not fear. Though war break out against me, even then I will be confident. For in the day of trouble, he will keep me safe in his dwelling, he will hide me in the shelter of his sacred tent and set me high upon a rock. Our lives begin to end the day we become silent about things that matter. Freedom prospers when religion is vibrant and the rule of law under God is acknowledged. I remain confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. From every mountainside, let freedom ring. Oh say, does that star-spangled banner yet wave, or the land of the free and the home of the brave? My righteousness draws near speedily. My salvation is on the way, and my arm will bring justice to the nations. The islands will look to me and wait in hope for my arm. Jesus said to Jairus, don't be afraid. Just believe, and she will be healed. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. Now faith is confidence in what we hope for, an assurance about what we do not see. Every kingdom divided against itself will be ruined, and every city or household divided against itself will not stand. Any people anywhere, being inclined and having the power, have the right to rise up and shake off the existing government and form a new one that suits them better. This is a most valuable, a most sacred right. A right, which we hope and believe, is to liberate the world. The Lord your God is with you, the mighty warrior who saves. He will take great delight in you. In his love he will no longer rebuke you, but will rejoice over you with singing. The Lord makes firm the steps of the one who delights in it. My God, how little do my countrymen know what precious blessings they are in possession of, and which no other people on earth enjoy. Repent, and turn to God, so that your sins may be wiped out, that times of refreshing may come from the Lord. Nations grew strong in an era when moral standards were emphasized, and it will grow weak when we condone that which we once condemned. America, America, God mend thine every flaw, confirm thy soul in self-control, thy liberty in law. Life's most persistent and urgent question is, What are you doing for others? Praise the power that hath made and preserved us a nation. Then conquer we must, when our cause it is just, and this be our motto. And God is our trust! Every element of our own self-reliance must be put to death by the power of God. My greatest concern is to be on God's side, for God is always right. America, America, God shed his grace on me. Let us not seek the Republican answer or the Democratic answer, but the right answer. 
People living in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of the shadow of death, a light has dawned. We are never defeated, unless we give up on God. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, and pray and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, and I will forgive their sin and will heal their land.